We're going to start off today with a shot I took last summer at my sister-in-law's graduation. This is a shot of my father-in-law, Ken, as we were waiting for the graduation ceremonies to begin. Uh, we're going to do a high contrast, low saturation effect that I learned back at uh, Photoshop World in Boston in April. We're going to start off by uh, simply making a few minor adjustments here in Camera Raw, as this is a raw image taken with my Nikon D200. I'm going to start off by increasing the blacks a little bit, just to uh, bump up the contrast a little bit. And maybe it's add a little bit of recovery to some of those highlight areas, particularly on his forehead uh, and uh, in some of these background elements. Kind of bump up the clarity just a tad. Uh, none of these settings are set in stone, they're just uh, basically to, uh, to your taste, uh, to make it look um, as you wish. I uh, don't need to mess with any of the, the color temperature, tints, or white balance, or any of the saturation sliders. As I said before, this is going to uh, be a low saturation image, so we don't really need to worry about those all that much. Now that we have this image looking pretty much uh, the way we want, so we're going to open it in Photoshop. You'll see that I'm using Photoshop CS3, but none of the techniques used in this particular uh, technique um, will uh, be only used in Photoshop CS3. You can use it on any version. The first thing we're going to do now that we have our image open in Photoshop is duplicate our background layer by holding the control key and hitting the letter J. That will be command on your Mac. And then we're going to hold down control shift or command shift and the letter U to desaturate the image. And then once again duplicate the image by holding control or command J once again. For our top layer uh, we're going to change the blend mode of this layer to soft light and then the lower layer below it to screen. This takes a lot of the color information out of the image but increases the contrast quite a bit in order to give that uh, really rugged kind of look to the image. The last part of this technique is to select your topmost layer and hold down Control, Shift, Alt, and the letter E that's Command, Shift, Option, and the letter E on your Mac. What this does is it uh, stamps all the visible layers onto one layer itself. We're going to change the blend mode of this layer to Multiply. With our Marquee tool selected, we're going to draw a fairly large selection around the whole image and go to Select, Modify, and Feather. Because this is a fairly high-res image, we're going to use a radius of 200 pixels. If you're using a medium or low-resolution image, something around 75 or 50 might be a little better for you. Click OK, and once that selection is active, just simply hit Delete to remove the center section and hold Control or Command down and hit the letter D to deselect. This darkens the edges and adds a nice vignetting effect to the image. You'll see that there are some areas that are blown out slightly, but uh, for the most part, uh, you'll see that particularly in the texture of his coat, uh, in his face, and in his hair, there's a lot higher contrast than we would have normally had, and it also uh, gives it that aged and slightly faded effect. Give it a try. I hope you had a lot of fun with this one, and be sure to send me some examples of what, uh, what you've come up with. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.